Given the draw and the loss to the Aussies, how good are we really? This is where the Healthspan elite fan voice comes into play and you can have your say on it. Powering the fan's voice. Brought to you by Healthspan Elite, the official sports nutrition partner for the All Blacks. And funny that we're talking about that because this is the question posed to fans. Should the All Blacks now play their strongest lineup against the Pumas or build experience? Now, you've spoken and overwhelmingly you say yes. 74% say yes, you trot out your best team. But again, Tabs, it's who's your best team? Is it those who have the potential? Is it those that have the good numbers? Or the flair and may freestyle it and pull out the old the Carlos Spencer-esque? It's a conundrum for them. Oh, I think it'll be pretty easy. I'm, I'm sure Fozzie and the, and the group have got a real clear picture of what their their starting, what their top 23 is. Um, oh, they, they've still got to do the, they've still got to be blooding players and giving them opportunities. But I feel like we're so obsessed with winning, it's such an important yeah. factor that we must win. Mm. And I think the yeah. response is that may bad? tell us. Yeah, no, is no, that bad? no, you don't. You don't play your top side. You rest Kane. You rest Whitelock. And you Ooh. put guys out there. You put. Barrett back out there, and you go. We'll put the best backline out there. Go well, back to look, one. Look at the Barrett. look at the circumstances. Okay, we've we've just won the Bledisloe Cup. Okay, we'll go in the following week. I know it's you know part of the Tri Nations, but you've got to get those guys out there. You, you've got to actually you know say, well, you go out there and show me your game time. Yeah, we've got this other squad out here, but you've got to believe in your whole squad. Now you flip that on the other side and look at Australia. They don't have that luxury, so why can't we play around? And, and, I, and I did. I honestly thought that would sort of. I know we, the team wants to go out and win. But you've got to look at the big, bigger picture. Now, what happens if those five guys you were talking about in the Rugby World Cup go down in week one? Then what are you doing? You, you, you're rushing through that whole five. You know? oh, here we go. What's no, here we no, go. No, I'm just He's thinking about match. the mitigating factors <laughs> for the Pumas. They've all had COVID. They haven't played for 12 months. They've been in Australia and they've played the Barbarians. I mean, we can beat them. All you need is we can is a beat cup of them, tea, don't you? Surely. Um, so look, this is the conundrum. Do you take a hit now and possibly risk losing by trotting out your next layer, or do you look long term, thinking the end game is a World Cup? We need to get depth. When was the last time the All Blacks lost two in a row? Oof. There's a good stat Jinx. for you. Hey, go you back, 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 back. No, I agree with you. You so, back your group. So it was probably when I played. <laughs> last time they lost at Eden Park, I played. Anyway, that's irrelevant. <laughs> but the most important thing, the last, the most important thing for me is that, like Mill said, we've got to have faith in the side. And I do believe that if we put a really strong side, so a calculated side out, you need to rest Kane. You need to rest Whitelock. I think the replacements against the Pumas will be good enough. Play your best backline. Put Mwanga back out there. Put Smith back out there. Maybe change some of the bench, and I still think that will be calculated. We cannot lose this weekend, but you've also got to stick to the plan. OK, here's a question. Who's your best team? Is it individuals or is it getting the right combos? And I'm thinking midfield here. I'm thinking 12. I'm thinking 13. You know, is it just purely individuals or is it who's gelling well? It will be Moanga, Goodhue, Anton Leonard-Brown. I well, promise you. I think they've shown they've shown the yeah. best combination, and they've shown you know the best sort of you know test match footy sort of style, and they've actually started to gel. Mm. And, and, the, and the coaches know that. And now it's an opportunity for someone else, like the low muppies, even the you know Rico Ioannis, that you get a chance there and go, well, actually I can probably challenge those guys. Now we're never going to get that keeping them on the bench, mm. you know. So why not put a calculated risk out there? They don't go out there to say, hey, if we lose this game, who cares? That's not the thought process of the All Blacks. No. Here's a question for you though, Mills. You know, we've prided ourselves on having the best bench. Our current side hasn't been the best impact bench so far. Mm. Australia beat us on that the weekend. Tupo comes on, lights the game up. Mm. I thought they were dead on their feet with about 20 to go. And I thought, you know, Sky Super Rugby Aotearoa that we've just been through gave us that resilience. But yeah. he came on and lifted them and it got them through. So we need to start saying, if you're a bench player, you know, maybe you, you've got to say that, you know, McKenzie is our best bench playing, we've got to have him there because he's going to come on and light us yeah. up. It's, it's a luxury that we're lucky we have. So we're looking at all the combinations and going, who are we going to put into that group of ten backs? That's a, that's a luxury because there's actually so many that can go in there. But in game is who's going to be the midfield partner, who's going to be the back three playing at the World Cup final. That'll be part of the thinking moving forward. Because you can you have to bring, build combinations, you know. You know a midfield that's played 40 test matches together is better than the two four midfielders.